I've always been a fan of Tony Stewart. It pains me to see what he's going through lately. First he breaks his leg. Has to sit out for a good fifth of the season. More like a fourth, but whatever. And then, in the next year, at almost the exact same time, he goes out to a sprint car race in New York. And what happens? He ends up hitting a guy with his car and killing him. You know, I've heard of running over the competition, but that's taking it to a whole nother level. I'm sorry, is that in bad taste? I honestly don't know anymore. I can't imagine what he's going through. Most people are never going to kill another person. Like, the emotions he's got to be feeling. I, like, I don't even know how he's still racing. Like, I don't know how he's not, like, finishing last, like, dropping out of races. The fact that he's finishing it all should be... The fact that he has a top ten should be commended. You know, back at California, I think it was, when they, um... When he got in it with Truex, like, that was that was the old Tony coming back, and I was excited. It's like, oh my god, here it comes, he's back! And now here we are, all the way in the second half of the season, and nothing's changed. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's painful to watch. I've never not liked Tony Stewart. I, he doesn't deserve this. Apparently some people think he does, however. So, why don't we look at some of the most deplorable comments that I've seen in a long time. And I've got a lot of comments on the Five Nights at Freddy's video. I've got to thank Noons again. If I, if they hadn't, I don't have Facebook, so if they hadn't contacted me on Twitter after the um, last comments video, I would have had no idea this would have happened because I don't have Facebook, so... NASCAR on Fox made a post about a week ago, I'd say, about Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart says that he has been the problem so far in 2015. I didn't really look. I scrolled through the article. Nothing really eye-opening happened in there. However, a couple of people have taken it upon themselves to inform the world that this horrible thing that is happening to Tony Stewart is deserved. I bet you know where this is going. Oh uh, yeah. It's all about karma. That happens when you murder folks. Yeah, I'm sure you'd know. Yeah, I'm sure you know. You know, I'm sure there's all these murderers out there that are getting away with it. You know, that Zodiac killer sure got what he deserved, huh? Karma, yeah. I'm not a spiritual man, but perhaps the spirit of Kevin Ward Jr. is getting a little bit of justice. Justice that our legal system failed to provide. Yeah. You know what other system failed to provide any kind of common sense? That's Kevin Ward's system. When he decided that, hmm, maybe it's a good idea if I run out on this active track in the middle of the night with low visibility as cars are driving past me. High rates of speeds, yes. This is a good decision. He, sh he never should have murdered that kid on purpose. If Tony Stewart killed Kevin Ward on purpose, he wouldn't have s you see all these regrets that he has. You look in his eyes and you see the pain that he feels inside. He didn't do that on purpose, you worthless fuck. I can't believe this. I literally can't believe that someone would be this despicable. Guilt for getting away with murder, I guess. Yes. Getting away with murder. Tony Stewart's a big fan of Papa Roach. I guess he's just up there with O.J. Simpson and Casey Anthony then. Yes, Tony Stewart is equal to O.J. Simpson. Thank you, Facebook. Oh, and I love the rest of this one. Ward committed suicide in a story. I, I, I don't agree with that. But the response is, Your opinion doesn't matter to me because you can't speak like a grown-up. Oh, yes. Guilt for getting away with murder, I guess. Yes, that is very grown up. Wow. You are just the you are the adult here. Wow. I'm sorry. I am just a worthless plebeian in your presence. Retire if you know you're the problem. Go to prison, murder. You've been a problem for the last seven to eight years. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. I hate Jimmy Johnson, but I'm not gonna go like, hey, no, yeah, retire. <laughs> if Jeff Gordon killed a guy, I wouldn't be like, no, go to prison, you murderer. You killed that guy on purpose. You load your gun and chick chick and boom. This. Yeah, you see, I do this all the time. My mind is just blown with this stupidity. My mind is just... Freedom of speech is not freedom from being called an asshole. This is why I run over people. Tony Stewart, more confirmed kills than the infantry. Yes! You are the adults here! <laughs> You're a killer. Karma. I could comment on the fact that you used the wrong your, but that would be immature. And you're clearly the adults here. Yeah. If karma really existed, you'd get your ass smacked. Because that is so, so ignorant. So ignorant. Oh, not this fuck again. Brett, you are so freaking stupid, you wish you were half the man as Tony. As fat as he is, no one can be half the man Stewart is. Amazing. You have absolutely no way to respond to any actual criticism that you're getting, so you're just going to call him fat. Brilliant. I'm sure that has worked very well in the past as an argument for, you know, never. And of course, I am cherry picking through these comments. Most of these comments are like the ones that you're seeing now. Most of them are actually in support of Stuart. But I honestly cannot believe that after nearly a whole year, people are still like, you're a, you're a, no, he's not a killer. He's not a killer. Well, yeah, he is a killer, but he's not a murderer. Okay. Ward was high while driving. You remember the last time that NASCAR banned someone from driving when they were high on something? Oh yeah, that was Jeremy Mayfield. Actually, A.J. Allmendinger did that too recently, didn't he? But everyone was in support of Allmendinger when he came back. Oh man, good job, Allmendinger. Good job. You kicked that habit. But no, you know... Ward is just this innocent angel. And Tony Stewart's this big, mean jerk. Who wins all the time. Hmm. Yes. In case you couldn't tell, I hate everyone that comment. Those just deplorable things. How can you be so soulless? Do you have any idea what he's going through? Tony Stewart regrets what happened. Can't you tell? He feels legitimate pain for what happened. And you're just going out there and going, you're a murderer, you sick, worthless piece of shit. You sick, fat, worthless piece of shit. Why don't you fucking retire, you worthless piece of shit? You want to know why he's not performing so well anymore? It's because of you, fucks! You are doing this! You are killing Tony Stewart! I'm legitimately fucking pissed off. I, I have fun reading Five Nights at Freddy's comments. I have fun doing it. I get I get a little mad, but that's just for the entertainment factor. I li I'm entertained by my comments, but this, this is just fucking sick. How can you be so worthless? Honestly. And you think you're the adults here? Yes, you are the mature people here. Clearly. Clearly. Why don't you go suck a fucking dick and die? Because you're obviously of no use to anyone. Alright, I gotta once again thank NMB Noons one for this. I would have never have known. I don't have Facebook, and I would never have known. Oh my god, that... Wow. Wow. I'm thunderstruck by stupidity right now. Just 
absolutely fucking deplorable people. I can't believe how it's just... And this isn't even with the nominity. This is personal Facebook accounts of people telling this. This is people's true selves on the internet, man. On, on, unreal. It's amazing what people will do on the internet. It's just unreal. This is, this is just disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. I'm not usually disgusted by what I see on the internet. I usually tend to laugh it off, but wow, this is just wrong. This is wrong. Oh. Anyway, yep. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in whatever comments video I do next. My hair is so lovely. So lovely. Oh, maybe some Yander Ray simulator soon? Who knows? But anyway... I was going to try to end this with something snazzy, but now I can't think of anything. He's right up there with O.J. Simpson and K.S. He's right up there with O.J. Simpson and... Shit, what was her name? This is embarrassing. This is going in the outtakes. K.S. Casey Anthony? Casey Anthony, I think? Is it Casey Anthony? I think it's Casey Anthony. I think it's Casey Anthony. Casey and... It only says Casey Mears. I'm going to say it's Casey Anthony. Stupid, worthless, autocorrect, never coming in when I wanted to.